basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Strange. These burn marks. Beast venom make them? Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. The wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Busted barrels. Contents spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Your Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. All marks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the Basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Sense perceptible again. Just as I expected, second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Hear something, but it's no basilisk screech. Human voices. Yamo, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off somewheres. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny, about to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desperate, new boy too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional. Good you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild, we'll share it fair and square. 
You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your caste? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near-extinct subspecies. Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah! Uh, no scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but, you made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. And the word once given? Your share, witcher. <laughs> Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, Witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. Godspeed, boys. You spared your cust. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out of this area. That I shall do. Master, you must accept more, be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. Thanks. Yokast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. It's an ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your cast could lay new eggs. Perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. Sure, I hope not. Take care. <laughs>